Loki, Season 2, Episode 1, just updated the rules for time travel in the Marvel Universe. Let's review. How did you just appear in there? I was in the past. What do you mean in the past? Where in the past? Here, here, the past TVA. No, there is no past TVA. Time doesn't work but like that. But it does here. now because it's happening to me. It's impossible. Time doesn't work that way. Changing the past doesn't change the future. But that's not how it works. It's possible, maybe. No, it's it's not. Get it. <laughs> that, that's what's been happening. Wow. Time slipping. Wait, time, you know that? Yeah. You've seen that? Yeah. Can you fix that? No. It's impossible to time slip in the TVA. I know, but we just saw it happen. Yeah, I'm having trouble reconciling that. Do I know you? Yes, in the future. Well, it's your future, my present. It's complicated. I've been pulled through different times in the TVA. Time slipping? That. I've been time slipping in the TVA. It's impossible to time slip in the TVA. But you just saw it happen. Yeah, I'm having trouble reconciling that. I've never seen anything close to that happen before. There was one time, that guy that was here a long time ago, he came to me complaining about time slipping. How did I not remember that? Wait, is he talking to you in the past and you're just now remembering it? I guess time slipping is possible yes. at the TVA. Alright, so previously in the MCU, per Avengers Endgame, the way time travel worked is if you went into the past and he made any change, even the slightest change, it would create a branch timeline. This is kind of also seen towards the end of episode one, season two, in Loki, where Sylvie goes to a branched timeline. This is backed up by some of the other MCU movies and shows as well. However, I think what's going on with Loki in season two, what we are seeing so far, it could be as simple as what they're explaining right now, where a time slip would cause you to go back and forth within the same timeline and create those changes within the same timeline. However, my theory and what I'm thinking is going on is what's actually happening uh, since this is in the TVA. The TVA, I believe, is a separate space from the rest of the quote-unquote sacred timeline. Uh, as we've seen in season one, he Who Remains created the sacred timeline where you have all these different timelines, but it's like a rope where it has a lot, a lot of different strands keeping it together. So you still have different timelines on the sacred timeline. They're just very similar in nature, and they don't really branch off from each other. There's just very minor changes between each one. But if you have one change on one timeline, it basically branches out into a different timeline, which we do see in Season 1 of Loki. I believe what's going on here with Loki in Season 2 is because the TVA is not part of that sacred timeline. I think it's similar to how we saw He Who Remains in the Citadel at the end of Season 1 is in a spot where he can view physically what the sacred timeline looks like and that seems to be outside of where the sacred timeline is and as they've said he is at the end of time in this particular point i believe it's the same way with the, with the tva where the tva is outside of the sacred timeline kind of similar to how when we saw he who remains he was also outside of the sacred timeline that's why i believe Loki is able to go back in the past in the TVA, make a change, and that change actually takes effect in the present of the TVA. Also the same way where we have Owen Wilson um, marking skin where the dust is at the end of Season 2, Episode 1, and it's still there when Loki jumps to the future. That's effectively a change that's being made on the same timeline, and I'm believing that that's the case because for the TVA there's only one singular timeline. It's not like the sacred timeline where there's multiple versions of it. There's only one version of the TVA. That's why we're seeing the changes take effect across past, present, and future. That's my theory anyway. We'll see if season two backs that up or if they're going to go with a different explanation of it or with the whole time slipping part of it and whatnot. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. 
Looking forward to hearing what your thoughts are. And with that being said, go ahead and subscribe for more content because I will be covering more theories for Season 2 of Loki. <laughs>